We live, we live, we live. I know you never see back in a car. It's been a long, 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 long time since I said that. I better late than never. You know, before I get started, Merry Christmas and Happy to Happy New Year to everybody that is celebrating the holidays. You know, um, it's always a wonderful time. To get to spend time with family. You know, so just peace and blessings to everybody. Um, you know, shout out to Lit House, the gang, the family, you know, you are Rev, Barton, Self Made, Sicario, Tap, Moneybags, Queen Royalty, Mozart, and James, St. Meese, the list goes on and on and on. But today's title, today's topic are the Charlotte Hornets in trouble? Is their season in danger of going to shit? To be frank with you, yes. Charlotte's season right now is on a very, very, very thin line. It is that close to turning into a catastrophe. And it's for two very simple reasons. You don't have a centre. Or well, maybe three reasons. You don't have a centre. Gordon Haywood's shambolic contract that you won't be able to move off bar some miracle. And Terry Rozier's overpaid self. Those are three things right there that Charlotte needs to sort out. By getting rid of either Gordon Haywood or Terry Rozier, you can get your centre. So that kind of knocks two birds with one stone. But the problem is... Money making Mitch, that old ass lizard, has put himself and put the Charlotte Hornets organization in a terrible, terrible space. You went out of your way to give Gordon Hayward a 130, 140 million dollar contract, which involved the kicker. So now, if you don't know what a kicker is, it means that the player who signed the contract, right, they they got a kick in the contract. It means they need to sign off if the team decides, okay, this isn't working, we want to trade you elsewhere, we want to move you on. The player himself actually has to have the final say on whether he wants to go or not. He has to sign off. Gordon Haywood, that scrub who is stealing money from the organisation, who can't go to the rack without creating offensive fouls every single time, can't create space without having to push off. Yeah, that scrub whose body's about to break down at any moment, yeah, that scrub, was given 130, 140 million with, with the power to also sign off on any trades that the Charlotte Hornets may want to make regarding him. Now, why does that put Charlotte in such a horrible position? Well, it puts you in a horrible position because now you have a Miles Bridges who you never bet on Who's now, sorry, Burp, who's now making you look silly because he's taken an incredible leap, averaging now 27 and 3 for the season, getting all star shots. But now you have to pay him this summer, and he's not gonna want le any less than what Gordon Hay was making. That's a fact. Oh, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to remind you. Guess, guess who Miles Bridges' agent is? Take, take a wild guess. Oh, you just got it. You're thinking of the same name, right? Yep. Yeah. Rich Paul. Club Sports. So guess what's going to happen? Miles going to get his money one way or another. Whether that's here or elsewhere. <coughs> but the way Charlotte is set up, it is looking like Miles Bridges will end up getting his money elsewhere because how can you possibly move Gordon Hayes' contract? Who wants to take that on? You think teams aren't, 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 the teams around the league ain't watching Charlotte and looking at Gordon Hayward thinking, my God, this guy's useless. He's useless. He can't beat anybody. He can't beat any of his, any of his defenders without a push-off. He is an offensive liability, a defensive liability. He's just an all-round liability that happens to make $140 million. Only Mitch Kupchak is the same man 
who gave Lionel Deng that blasphemous contract in LA, right? Did he give Timothy Moscow that contract up in um, up in LA? I don't know. That, but that loud Lionel Deng contract was criminal. And to this day, the Lakers are suffering for it. To this day. This is what Charlotte are dealing with. And this is why Charlotte's season is in danger of collapsing. But because, because of a Gordon Hayward, you have no money to go out and get a centre who you desperately need. Because right now you're running Mason Plumley. Mason Plumley is seven foot for nothing. He can't rebound, he can't defend. Every centre in the league gets a career high on him. Charlotte are the worst defensive team in the NBA by far, right? And the only reason why they're still in and amongst the, the playoff race is because their offense that was powered by a Lamello ball is, is one of the best in the league. It's top three, if I'm not mistaken, top three right now in the NBA. That's the only reason why they're upset just how bad their defense is. And Charlotte in a position where they, whereby they can't make any moves because they can't move Gordon Hayward's money. They have money tied up in Gordon Hayward. They have money that potentially will be tied up in Terry Rose soon because, as you know, Nassami signed a 90, was it, $97 million contract extension, which doesn't actually kick in until next season. So there's still time to trade Terry Rose. And Terry Rose's contract is actually very tradable. But Gordon Rose is an albatross. Gordon Rose, Gordon, Gordon Hayward is an albatross. His contract is, is so, so damaging to Charlotte right now and potentially what Charlotte could look like in the future. Because if you end up in a situation whereby you... Well, there's only one, one or two things that could, could end up happening. Miles Bridges is in a situation where he will be a restricted free agent in the summer, right? So Charlotte have backed themselves into such a position where they've got money tied up in Gordon Hayward, money tied up in Terry Rozier, where they cannot pay Miles Bridges. Also, you have to remember, Lamelo was in line for that Supermax rookie extension at the end of this season. So where the hell is Charlotte going to get the money? If they pay Miles Bridges, they go into the luxury tax. There's no way in hell Charlotte going to a luxury tax for anybody, let alone Miles Bridges. Right? So now you're in a situation whereby you may actually end up having to trade Miles Bridges come trade deadline, or you risk it and wait till the end of the season and possibly look to do a sign and trade for Miles Bridges. Now, either one of these is catastrophic unless you're able to trade Miles Bridges for someone that comes somewhat around about the quality of a Miles Bridges which I doubt will happen so now you end up in a situation whereby you trade Miles Bridges that could ruin the trajectory completely ruin the trajectory of the Charlotte Hornets not only this season but for seasons to come it's similar to a situation whereby where James Harden left OKC because OKC didn't want to pay him the extra five million. And Kevin Durant to this day talks about how much that James Harden trade impacted OKC. They were never able to get close to our finals again. You know, they got to the Western Conference finals a few times, but they were never ever able to reach that promised land because they didn't have a genius playmaker on their team like James Harden because they didn't want to pay him an extra five million. And guess what? He goes to Houston and becomes the all-time player that he, that he is today. Charlotte in a similar situation whereby they let go of Miles Bridges and Lamelo's number two, you have problems. Because you're not only thinking about Miles Bridges and what he can bring to the team, you're also thinking about Lamelo's psyche and what he's thinking seeing his number two, yeah, his guy from the day that he's been here, walk out that door. Do you think Melo ain't, Melo ain't taking notes? Oh, they let go of Miles Bridges, but they, they kept going anywhere and paid his, his sorry self. Oh, they, they, they paid Terry Rose his 6 1 self. 97 mil. Right, right, right. But it couldn't be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He knocked that down. He knocked that down. He knocked that down. I think Miles Bridges, if he ends up leaving, he ain't, he ain't talking to Melo on the phone saying, yo. <laughs> it's nice out here, baby. <laughs> it's nice out here. What do you want to stay in Charlotte for? 
These are these are the kind of things that 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 Charlotte fans need to think of. It's there's there's obviously you're looking at the short term now. Oh, Miles Bridges gets traded. You're not thinking about the long term implications of that. Not only for 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 the players on that roster currently, the long term implications could be huge. It could lead to a situation where by Lamelo, after he signs his rookie extension, a few years after that, might turn around and say, you know what, I want out of here. I want to go to LA, I want to go to New York. You lot haven't done anything in your power to keep the guys that I actually wanted to keep here and build something. So guess what, now I want to go. <laughs> now, now I'm about to be the rock star that you lot been, that, that you lot been trying to suppress. Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier are two players that absolutely need to be traded. They need to be traded. You drafted a guy like James Booknight with all the talent that he has for a reason. Terry Rozier isn't, isn't that guy. Terry Rozier stays on the Charlotte Hornets team. There's a ceiling to how much Charlotte can achieve. Because at the end of the day, in this NBA, you will not succeed with a 6-1-2 guard that plays no defence and is a streaky offensive player. Streaky, you know, he, he, who thinks he's scary Terry, thinks he's this guy, he's not that guy. You got a Gordon Hayward who thinks he's that guy, he's not that guy. And they're making too much money to be doing the nonsense that they're doing, messing up this team. This Charlotte Hornets team is currently constructed, has no chance of sniffing the playoffs. I don't see it. I don't see it. Not without a centre. The, the stats are there for you to see. They are by far the worst team in, the, in, in terms of interior defence and just in terms of defence, period. They can't defend this three ball. Every team seems to get a career high in threes against them. Yeah, because of that stupid auto zone that James Bregor plays. To, to cover for the likes of a Terry Rozier because he's too damn short. And then you have no centre because you're running with a scrub like Mason Plumlee who's letting every big get career highs on them. Out rebounding, out muscling, out heart him, just downright abusing. And these all lead back to the contract that Mitch has given Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier. The reason why Charlotte Hornet are not only in trouble today, this season, but for seasons to come if moves are not made. I, it's been uh, it's been months since I made a bit, but listen, I had to come back. On smoke, I had to come back. Hey, I just have to come back, do me. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. You know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Lit House, you know what I'm saying? We're out here. Unoriginal FC, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. Content, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to find a way to be more consistent. Life's hectic. But listen, I promise you, I promise you. I'm going to devise a schedule, a plan whereby certain days I upload and yeah man just just try and be consistent with it because you know I know there are people out here that, that that are watching me and you never know who's watching you and, and, and who's enjoying your content you know and, and I'm doing you guys the service being as, as inconsistent as I am but you know I hope you guys forgive me and enjoy this video so yeah Merry Christmas Happy New Year I know you see you I'm out